Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight Market Scenario by Segal Sea Trade On July 9th, the Asia-Pacific Panamax freight rates were mixed. The Asia-Pacific Supermax freight rates witnessed mixed tradings. The Cape Size freight rates in both Pacific and Atlantic basins were felled and the Pacific Handyzize freight rates dropped. Gujarat's non-major ports see 15% surge in cargo traffic in first quarter. In a boost to India's maritime sector, Gujarat's non-major ports have registered a 15% increase in cargo traffic for the first quarter of the financial year 2025. This growth rate far outpaces a 3.9% growth rate seen at major ports across India during the same period as per the traffic figures posted by the Indian Port Association, the state government said in a press statement. The Gujarat Maritime Board regulated, operated and facilitated ports reported that cargo traffic at these ports jumped from approximately 106 million metric tons in the first quarter of FY24 to an impressive 122 million metric tons in the first quarter of FY25. This surge was primarily driven by private ports and captive jetties which handled over 90% of the total cargo, said the statement. Adani ports in Special Economic Zone set to win clean cargo terminal deal at Deen Dayal Port. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited, India's biggest private port operator, is set to win the rights to run a 5.7 million ton capacity multi-purpose terminal for handling clean cargo, including containers, at state-owned Deen Dayal Port for 30 years by placing the highest royalty of Rs 200 per ton when the price bids were opened last week. The contract win will help Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone strengthen its presence in Deen Dayal Port, India's second biggest state-owned port by volumes handled, where it runs a drybull cargo terminal at Tuna Tekra, a satellite facility. Kerala to expand statewide shipping services as Vizinjam Port opens. The Kerala government announced on Tuesday that with the commencement of operations at Vizinjam International Port, shipping services will also be launched at other ports across the state. Minister for Ports V N Vaswan stated that the start of operations in Vizinjam will strengthen the coastal shipping of goods in Kerala. The Kerala Maritime Board has already initiated discussions with private shipping companies to promote coastal shipping. At present, services can be launched to Kolam, Bepur and Ozikode ports which have basic infrastructure facilities for the same, he told the State Assembly. Replying to a question, the minister said efforts have begun to improve infrastructure facilities in such ports. Singapore port congestion threatens to gum up global trade. The risk of higher prices for everything from cars to smartphones for the world's consumers just got a lot higher. Congestion at Singapore's container port, which is at its worst since the pandemic, has started spilling over to neighboring ports, posing a risk for global supply chains. Shipping rates have risen as much as fivefold over the past year, and it was only a matter of time before some of that is passed on to the shoppers. Singapore is the world's largest transshipment hub. The container port connects more than 600 ports from 123 countries and has an annual capacity of 50 million 20 feet equivalent units, a measure of volume. Things are getting serious when congestion from a hub of this size starts a domino effect for neighboring ports. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.